Miriam was hiding. As quiet as a mouse, she crouched, peeping through the tall reeds that grew on the bank of the Nile River. Miriam kept her eyes fixed on the little basket that was bobbing up and down at the water's edge. She was scared because in that little basket, down in the water, her baby brother lay fast asleep. Miriam knew the river was the best place to hide him from the wicked king who wanted to hurt all the Hebrew baby boys in Egypt, but she was still scared. What if something terrible happened? Suppose the little basket sank? No, Miriam's mom had made that basket super strong. It would not sink. Suppose the waves splashed over the edge of the little basket. No, the water was calm today. Miriam squeezed her eyes shut tight and tried to remember what her mom had told her. Miriam, her mom had said, we have to let go of all the things we're scared of. We have to trust that God will take care of our baby. But it was hard to let go. Could Miriam do that? Suddenly, Miriam heard a voice. She crouched lower in the reeds and saw the king's daughter walking by the river. Oh no, what if she wanted to harm all the baby boys too? But guess what? The king's daughter loved babies. She scooped that little baby up out of the basket, cuddled him and named him Moses. I will take care of you, the princess said, but who will help me? My mum will, my mum will, shouted Miriam as she ran out from her hiding place. And that is exactly what happened. Miriam laughed as she ran to tell her mum they would help take care of their own little baby boy. And as she ran, she thought about all the things she had been afraid of at the riverbank. The wicked king had not come. The waves had not come. But God had come. God had come and saved her baby brother. Thank you, God, Miriam whispered, for helping me let go of my fears and trust you. And this is your love letter from God. Dear child of God, do you ever get scared of things that might happen like Miriam did? I want you to think about something that scares you. Now hold out your hand Put that scary thought right in the middle and close your fingers tight around it. Now slowly open your hand and just let that scary thought go. Let it fly far, far away. Imagine instead that my great big hand is holding on to your little one. Trust me. Let go of your fears and trust me. Love God. And God's wonderful words to you are from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13. And God says, I am the Lord your God. I take hold of your right hand. I say to you, do not be afraid. <laughs>